All hail a beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today we're here to discuss the luxury fragrance house of PDM. Now you may know PDM for bringing us standout fragrances like Leighton, Herod, Gold Dolphin, and even Pegasus. Now for those of you who are new to this, PDM simply stands for Parfum de Marley, okay? And arguably, in my opinion, they are one of the best fragrance houses on the market today. Now to me, that is a big statement, fair, but it is a big statement. And before I hop into why I feel they're one of the best fragrance houses on the market today, I think it's best to start off with some full disclosure. So let's start with my relationship with this company. Well, there's a small relationship here. Over the years, I've done a number of reviews about their fragrances and they've given me two bottles, okay? And the bottles that I've received from them directly are Pegasus Exclusive and greenly okay and that is it everything else is things that i've acquired in other ways but not by them and that is the end of our relationship they are not here for this video they don't know this video is being created and well that's it all right thing number two i think it's important for us to understand is that this video is being brought to you by my friends the good people over at scentsplit.com I've personally been a customer of theirs for five or six years and occasionally we switch roles and they become a customer of mine. For those of you who are not familiar with Sensplit.com or what they do, trust me, it's simple. Sensplit.com is the go-to source for samples and decants of niche, indie, and hard to find fragrances. I mean, it's what they do and it's in their name, so it has to be good. So if any of the fragrances we mentioned today pique your interest, click on their link down below and order a decant. You pick the scent, you pick the size, and they handle the rest. We'll hop more into this later, but right now, let's go ahead and get back into the House of PDM. Now, the House of PDM was originally founded back in 2009, and they set out with the goal to create high-end, signature-worthy fragrances. And these fragrances would be created on concepts that were short, striking, and direct. It's a concept I feel they nailed in every part of their presentation and aspect of what they do screams luxury, it screams elegance, and it also screams nobility. Now, if you own any of their fragrances, speaking of nobility, then you will notice that there is these ornamental sculptures of horses to represent that nobility and elegance within their fragrances. So here's the deal. We're going to briefly go through some of their most popular fragrances and sort of give you a guide on where to start. Specifically, if you have not dived into this house yet, because if you are waiting, I'm not sure what for. Again, utilize this as a guide to hop into it and click the link down below to my people at scentsplit.com because they can get you started. You can explore a lot of these fragrances for an extremely affordable rate. Now, let's go ahead and get down to the nitty gritty. So let's go ahead and start off our discussion with one of my personal favorites and I won't say it's a new entry to my collection because I've had it since 2020, but it's a fragrance that I really, really enjoy. And the fragrance is Sedley. Now this is the master rated version or the uh, newly master rated version. This one re-released in 2020. And this one is, is a really great marriage of citrus and uh, spearmint. This is a citrus aromatic fragrance that just really gets the job done. Sedley is a fragrance that is classic, it's modern, it has bergamot, you got citrus, you have grapefruit. As I did mention, you do have that spearmint within this fragrance, as well as sandalwood, ambrox, and patchouli. This is a really phenomenal fragrance. It stands out during those spring and summer months. As you'll notice as we hop in, a lot of these fragrances will do well in the fall and winter, but to me, this is one of those standout fragrances for spring and summer. Sedley is definitely a fragrance I urge you to try and start out with if you're looking for something that's easy to wear, simplistic, classic, and 
modern. Since we started with a fresh fragrance, I'll go ahead and transition into another standout fresh fragrance, and that one is Greenly. As I mentioned, this is one of the fragrances that they sent me, but this fragrance here is really, as it mentions, um, this green feel, but more so because of the bottle, all right? This one isn't like this earthy fragrance. You have a bit of earthy elements to it, but this one is more so played on the notes of green apple. To me, Greenly is uh, refreshing, it's elegant, it's smooth, and it also has this energetic vibe to it. Spray this thing on spring and summer. Oops, spraying it the wrong way. Spring and summer, and you will be good to go. Again, that green apple is a key player here, but uh, it's refined, it's mature, while still being um, this, this young, sophisticated smell as well. Greenly for now, it's part from the Marley, and obviously all of these fragrances for PDM, all right? Um, here's another one. Can't go wrong with this one. If you are a fan of musk within fragrances, and this is another one that stands out for that spring and summer occasion, in my humble opinion. But this one is a musk fragrance through and through, and this one is called Galloway. Now, Galloway was a part of their unisex citrus um, releases there, which also included a fragrance named Darcy. But we're talking about this one here, which is obviously Galloway. Thinking of this fragrance, this one is iris, it's citrus, it's amber, um, and that musk there, again, is the prevalent note of what you can find here. And it's one that I find enjoyable. One of the most enjoyable musk fragrances out there in simple, easy to wear form, in my personal opinion. What you'll notice about these fragrances, and Galloway is one of those that I'll kind of elaborate on, um, a lot of their fragrances are named after horses, okay? And this one was as well. Again, this one was a part of this unisex citrus collection launch with another fragrance named Darcy. Um, but Galloway is said to be this white horse, and obviously you have the white presentation here. Just a magnificent fragrance all in all. Galloway is one of those fragrances, if you want something that's mature, um, while, when I say matureness, I don't mean old, all right? That means something that's going to be sophisticated in nature. It's going to be not like a bubblegum, uh, girly or overly masculine scent. This is a fragrance that you could wear and yeah, be that guy. Now, as I mentioned, Galloway was released with Darcy, kind of with this collection-like, but there is a few collections within the PDM realm. And the first collection I wanna to talk to you about is the collection of that, which is Delina, all right? Delina is this one here. This one is technically a women's fragrance, okay? Or perfume, however you wanna call it here. And uh, this is what you have here, man. You have three fragrances within this lineup. You have the OG, the original Delina. You have Delina Exclusive, which looks very similar to the original Delina. And then you have Delina La Rose. And this is the newest one within the bunch. Now, the Delina lineup is based on the notes of Rose, if you ask me. And that's a running theme throughout all three. But La Rose gives you it in a fresher uh, way. Now, for the sake of our discussions today, I'll center most of my attention around this one here, which is Delina Exclusive. Now, Delina Exclusive, as you would imagine, was a flanker of the original, okay? And the exclusive here was released in 2018, and it was a standout scent and an immediate hit. Coming on the heels of the success of Delina, uh, Delina Exclusive features lychee, you have Turkish rose, you have bergamot, you have pear, you have oud, and all of these notes together come in a way that is just really done extremely well. You have the, obviously the rose is within this fragrance, you could smell it. It also has a powdery feel here that comes off sexy, sophisticated, and elegant. Now this is primarily marketed as a woman's fragrance. However, there are men out there who prefer to wear Delina Exclusive, Delina, and now Delina La Rose, okay? A magnificent trio of fragrances to try and if you're looking for them, again, holler my people over scentsplit.com and they're gonna have you hooked up. They have them available, ready to ship, and well, they do that pretty quick. Now, I'll briefly go into three additional fragrances which were a part of a four 
pack of fragrances. They weren't really a pack, all right? So four fragrances released within this collection. The collection is the Arabian Breed Collection. Now, as I mentioned, these fragrances are based around horses and these three fragrances all have a similar feel as well as that fourth fragrance as well. I only have three of within this collection. And again, the collection is the Arabian Breed Collection, all right? You have Nissan, you also have Wojan and Habdan, all right? And the fourth one there is Habdani, but I don't have that one, all right? Um, but I can talk to you about these three. Now, Wojan is probably one of the standout fragrances from this collection, and also Habdani, right? Uh, I don't have that one, but that one gets a lot of accolades as well. When I think of these fragrances in terms of what they offer, these are those fragrances that are going to really stand out for me in that fall and winter, all right? Um, Wojan, to me, is the date night in a bottle. This is that close encounter, sexy, seductive scent that is good for both men and women. With this one, you get some elegant feel. You also get spice here, all right? Boom. The spice is there alive and well. Now, when it comes down to the Arabian Breed collection, that warm, spicy feel is going to be a reoccurring theme throughout them all. And now that I'm thinking about this here, I actually gave you some misinformation, all right? So there is um, five fragrances here. Technically, Nissan is not within this one, but I'm putting it there because it has the same feel. All right, so you have Ojan, you have Habdan, you have Habdani, and then there's one that begins with the K. I don't want to butcher the name there, but that's another fragrance within this. And what I can tell you is that that warm, spicy feel kind of really continues throughout this entire line. And they really provide different um, levels of darkness, so to speak, when it comes down to uh, that warm spice here. They kind of bring in some different notes, whether it be leather, or ouds, etc., within this, and they are all powerful scents that really work, that have that mature, elegant, royale feel. And listen, look no further than those three there, if that's what you are looking for. Now, Again, there are a ton of other fragrances that they do offer and I have a bunch in front of me So what I'll do is go rapid fire talk about some of those ones that really stand out that you may or may not have heard of All right, so let's start with this one here and this one is gold dolphin gold dolphin to me is this leather Fragrance that is royal. It is elegant. It's sophisticated. It's sexy all of the above when it comes down to it Go dolphin. All right, go dolphin for sure standout scent another group of fragrances I want to talk about is uh, some of the exclusive sides all right and exclusives are going to be these Amped up versions of the original we talked about Delina exclusive, but you also have Layton exclusive and Pegasus exclusive both standout fragrances for sure. Pegasus Exclusive is the newest of the bunch from what I have here. This one was released in 2020. And listen, the original Pegasus has this almond note within it, right? This has this almond uh, note amped up. And these Exclusive fragrances all have this uh, similar combination or this Exclusive combination that just takes the fragrances over to the next level but compared to the original pegasus um pegasus exclusive is is darker it's more sensual and you still get a lot of that heavy almond within this fragrance that really helps recall the original and get you tuned in phenomenal fragrance again there's so many fragrances that they have that they've done right and um listen <laughs> they just work okay Again, when it comes down to doing fragrances right, that's just what they do. Every presentation is solid, right? Whether you're looking at this one here, this one is Kalan, all right? A change in the colors and presentation here. This one has this dark red, uh, really sexy, seductive scent here. And uh, competition fragrance, if you ask me, if you smell this fragrance, you'll know what I'm referencing. Uh, this one here is Castley, all right? Castley uh, changes the things up a bit from Delina. This doesn't have that standard um, rose feel here. I think this one is a little darker, a little more sensual, a little more elegant, so to speak, versus the others, although those are great as well. Two additional standout fragrances from the house. Another fragrance that really gets a lot of love is the fragrance of Carlisle. Um, fall, spring, winter, yeah. Magnificent scent to pull into the collection. Pull out, wear, get yourself some compliments 
for sure. There are other fragrances here that I have not touched on yet. You have uh, Leighton, you have Herod. Herod here is tobacco, all right? Very different than the others that we talked about so far. We talked about having a strong leather fragrance. This one here is tobacco. Yeah. Mm. All right. Tobacco at times can be a, a fragrance that comes off or a fragrance note that comes off as a note that is not extremely wearable. But this one here is really done in a great, great way. One of the standout fragrances, often one of the fragrances that people begin with. Another fragrance that gets the job done, spring, summer, is a Percival, all right? Percival, another, every, I'm gonna say another, every fragrance within this collection, yeah. Modern, enhanced, um, luxury. This one here smells like a boss. It smells like a CEO. You come in, you dap a dand up. There you have it. Listen, there's so many fragrances that they offer and all of them have uh, three things going for them, okay? You have this elegance, all right? You have luxury and you have sophistication. No matter what fragrance that they offer, you're gonna get those three things, luxury, elegance, and sophistication. Some of the collections offer a little more elegant feel, a little more sophistication there, um, a little sexier, right? Those things all vary depending on what fragrance that you are diving into. But again, I don't think you can really go wrong with most of these fragrances. These are just some of the fragrances that I have from them that I like to speak about, I like to wear, and I think a lot of you out there will enjoy them as well. Again, if you're looking to try any of these fragrances, holla at my people at scentsplit.com. They are super clean, right? Everything is surgical grade that they're using to decant the fragrances. Boom, nice presentation. You get all the descriptives of the fragrance on the bottle so you know exactly what you are getting and they come pre-packaged in a way that, well, make sure that they arrive to your door. No leaks, no spills, no nothing. All right, everything you need, nothing you don't. Holla at my people over at scentsplit.com. What I would love to know is what is your favorite fragrance from PDM, all right? Parfum Damali, what fragrance do you enjoy most from them? There, there are a lot of fragrances that they offer that I did not mention. Some I don't have, some I just, you know, maybe skipped over uh, by chance here because I don't know. I got to a point where I forgot what I talked about, all right? But these are some of the fragrances. Be sure to check them out. Let me know your favorite fragrance from the House of PDM down below. As always, I'm your boy. Big B, B, hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the gap damn 